I'm Nightshade, and that's my mom. Hello, I'm Sophie, and that's my daughter. This is going to be a weekly Cancer read, November 1st through 7th. Sophie's going to pick an oracle card from Spirit of the Animals Oracle. And she's going to use the Crystal Visions Tarot. I'm just going to use a regular Rider weight. And uh, Sophie's going to ring the bell for Spirit. All right. Spirit has already been invited into our home and to our last read. Now we ask Spirit to help us with this read for Cancer for the week of November 1st through November 7th. Spirit. Please come forth to the table and help us with this read for cancer for the first week of November. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Oh, I guess I need to do this first. Oh, dear love, be gentle with yourself. You heal with the power of love. Set the fight. See the fight in... No, sorry. See the light... <laughs> In all things, light. Acknowledge your self-worth and grace. I know, my glasses aren't that old, but I guess my vision changed. Look at that. Look at that. That looks like a chickadee. Is that a black-capped chickadee? I don't know, but it's a cute little bird. Yeah. I like birds, so of course I'm the one looking at the birds. But How sweet. It's deer. It's a How deer. Sweet. It's a mama deer and the baby deer. So. They have, deer have the prettiest eyes. No eyes. They just have no the prettiest eyes. eyes. That's why they call them You just eyes. hate to see one killed. Well, um, but they're pretty tasty, I hear. I don't know. I've never had I deer. don't know. I haven't either. Be gentle with yourself. Yes, you be gentle with, with yourself. Love. Now, we've had a kind of go around with the cancer and Gemini together. Those reads for the past few months have been pretty deep. So, maybe this is Three your time for healing. I have the Knight of Pentacles, which is a real cancer in, in something planet. Jupiter, I guess, or something. I don't know. Show us, Spirit, where this read is going to go for cancer. Hopefully this what is, is it your, they need to know to your see. season for healing, cancer. Yes. We've had some real deep cancer and Gemini reads. Remember all that stuff we kept getting back and forth? It was like, oh my gosh. What's going on with y'all? Ten. That just oh, looks like temperance. a deer. That just looks like a deer, doesn't it? I mean, that's deer energy in and of itself. Because deer are just, they're always wary. They can't never relax, remember? Because they're they are natural prey animals. They're always wary. They're, they're always, always on wary, the lookout. Always on the lookout. Always on they the lookout. They never really get a moment's peace. Prey animals don't. They're always looking they're all, they always have this amount of energy that they have to carry with them be in that wary energy yeah. thing. As if they, they don't have one eye open looking around them, then they they're liable to end up dead. Yeah. So that's them. God, be wary. They are just, they're always wary. They can't really, like you said, they have to sleep with one eye open in temperance. It's like just the balance there, isn't it, of trying to hold on to all that, knowing the payoff is that you get to live another day. Oh, all right, let's see what we've got here. I have the Nine of Wands, the Five of Wands, yes. oh, and the Queen of Wands. Wow, you, got you got some, some fire wands. here. You got some fire here. Mm. Okay, so, so we're doing Cancer, which is your water sign. We have Deer on the table, which is... I would imagine Earth Sun. Uh, yeah, it would be something not fire. I mean, I could see a little bit. I could bit see it being fire. water. Uh, water though. Water. Because and they're always got, in the woods, and there's streams, and and they're just the way they are, being so wary. I don't know how emotional that would tie into something, but you can definitely see you've got a lot of fire on the table now. Yeah, Are this you temperance right here in the middle of all this fire? Is that what you're wary of? Cancer? Are you wary of a fire sign? Six of Cups. That just speaks of reliving the past. So now we're getting into, yeah, what you're scared of and healing. Because you would only pull the past out. 
in a reading where you were trying to heal something, right? Six of Cups. You'd only pull that card out if you were trying to heal. Be gentle with yourself. Love. Yeah, it says be gentle Six with yourself. Cups. You're holding on to a lot of stuff and it's burning you up ever so slowly yes. from the inside out. Good, good, good. That's a good... Because Cancer is a water sign. Now you're doing a double six here, but there's a six pentacles. So you got six and six. And six. Maybe this is just your season for it. You know, maybe this is just your season for... Um, it's time for you to pull all that up. It's time for you to to pull all that stuff out. You know, like they say, you can't see the forest for the trees. It's time for you to start examining, pulling it out. This fire is burning on the inside, but you need to... The Knight of Pentacles and the Star. I had Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of my deck when we started. Mm -hmm. So that talks of sitting with something. So that's it. I mean, look, 10, if you have 10 wands in real life, that would be 10 fiery wands of lots of energy, right? And in some decks, that's how they, um, that's how they do it. It's a pre, but the 10 of, um, wands can be oppressive, but I know like in the haunted house deck, it's, it starts the bonfire that the witch burns in. Um, it can be a cathartic thing. This can be so much that it bursts into flames and then it's over to be rebuilt again. So what this tells me is that this is all healing. This is all love, be gentle with yourself, and you've got some healing stuff coming in because you're, you're looking at it, you're not moving. That 10 is, you're moving so slow that you're, you've basically come to like a standstill. And you're sniffing the wind, looking to see who's going to hurt you next. It's very still right now. I wish you could feel it. This poor deer, poor cancer, is just Doesn't holding know. it all yeah. on the inside. And it's burning you up ever so slowly from the inside. But you've got to get past that. You've yeah. got, you've, you have to get past whatever memories you're holding there. And I think you can. That's why you threw the star. Yeah, and I think that's you've got the you world. Are. Yeah, see, it's you, coming to a close. Yeah. It may just be something that you've harnessed here by bringing it out. Maybe you've said some um, things you, you didn't think you could. You've looked at some things you didn't think you could. Maybe you've just had some honest conversations. Maybe you've just been journaling I don't know whatever it is it doesn't specifically say here but it does specifically say that you carried a lot of fire but with this it's saying be gentle so it's it's slowly coming out maybe this is just a healing process that just kind of happened on that yeah um on that natural the high cycle. priestess yeah, okay, so Under, now we have cancer. There you go. We have cancer yes. on the table. High priestess So you're doing cancer. something with these memories. Whatever it is that you're doing is working. This slow fire underneath you, uh, in your, cr what a, not in your, cr in your gut, that, um, that's, because she signifies that gut instinct. Too. Yes. So that, that fire that's, you're calling up, that's like in your, um, you're in your, in your, your shocker. What is this? Right, you're right ready here? to give it all up. She's ready to let go. What is this right here? Solar plexus. If you're feeling it in your solar plexus, it's because you're bringing it up. There we go. That's what I was wanting to say. I couldn't move without saying it. Had She's to say ready it. to release all the secrets. Yeah, I hope so. And let them go. Not to anybody. We're not telling you to make confession. No, 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 no. But, oh, good. I'll take Except. it because I got death on the bottom. Accept and, and just release. All right. Oh, shit. I'm going to take it. Look, I got Ace of Pentacles mm -hmm. and got my hands are so dry. I can't even pull cards out, y'all. Sorry. I'm so paper dry. And the hair font. Look at that. That tells you that you're getting back on the right track. You, you've decided to let it all go. Let it go. 
which you've decided to do all of this but stuff. They're, but they're, you can't, no, because you can't just say that to a cancer, and I know this. And the reason I'm saying that is I'm agreeing with you 100%, but a cancer can't just let something go. You have, that's why this was sitting here for such a long time. I, instinctively, cancers don't do that. That would be like telling this deer to relax. This deer can't yeah. relax. It will be dead tomorrow if it relaxes. So I know what she means. And we, we know if you're a cancer and you're watching this and you're feeling it even a small amount, then it's for you. You can't let go. It has to run its course through you. You're the queen of cups. You hold all of that stuff. There's no, it can't, you're the last, the buck stops here with cancer. Then nobody gets out of here until cancer says we go. If a cancer can't feel it, it can't be done. So a cancer can process all that, but you have to process it. You can't just throw it to the wind like some air signs can't. You're a Libra, you can say that, let it go. You can't do that, not when you're the queen of cups, not when you're the emotional receptacle of everything around you. Everyone else is throwing it off and it's falling well, you in need your to cup. work on it. It's uh, falling in your cup. Cancer needs to work on it. The eight of uh, pinnacles. Uh, yeah, I, well, the I, only I, I realize work, that. Well, I mean, you have to, if I'm, and I'm just saying it because I'm a cancer. I know at least a little bit of what it feels like to be cancer. It's, it's. To work on it, how? How do you work on it? How do you how tell how do you tell a cancer to work on letting it go? You can't. You have to let it burn you up until there's nothing left. Well, and that's then what I'm saying. That's when it burns through your psyche. You have to sit there like this six of cups, and you have to go over and over and over yeah. and over and over and over and because a, a cancer has to fucking metabolize it. You have to pull it in. You have to eat it. You have to look at every single bit of it. You have to get every single amount of information out of it that you possibly, possibly can. You have to make sense. It has to make sense. You have got to make sense of it. And then that's when you start to get that. That's when you start to go, oh, okay. Because you have to understand it yourself, huh? It has to make sense. It has to make sense. You have to do that your own way. And that's why I said, um, if you have to just, work through it. Yeah, you, you just have, have to, to work, work through, through it. it. The Eight of Pentacles is saying you, you have to work I through it. I wish it was easy because for some people, they literally can just go whoosh, and throw it off and go, it doesn't matter. So, and, you know, on some things, you can do that. And I'm just speaking from Cancer's point of view because I'm a double Cancer, so that makes sense to me. But maybe I'm full of crap. I don't know. Maybe you're perfectly fine tossing stuff off. Some people can. I'm just speaking from if you're feeling like I am. Which I'm reading the cards, too, because that's what it's saying is like, you know, that slow burn that was inside of you. But you lived through it, and now it's better. Yeah, you've, you're working your way through it. Because you can't deny a high priestess, death, an ace, and an ace. The knight of cups. Okay, see, there we go. Now we changed. We Love shifted. yourself. Love yourself. We shifted. That Knight of Pentacles shifted. There we go. Now, Eight of Pentacles again, so I'll take it because it's just reiterating what she said. There's Eight of Pentacles. There's Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, yeah, two. Two eights, eight, eight. We got two of something else up there, too, don't we? Uh, two sixes. Yeah, Not six, at the six, same time, eight, but eight. Six. Mm -hmm. Double sixes, double eights. Oh, the Queen of Pentacles. Hey, all Did, right. So that's an Earth Queen. That's good. That's settling down. That's getting your head out of the clouds. That's giving up the burn. That's sitting on the throne. That's that's that Earth Goddess right there. So that's good. That's, that's a good having thing to come done into. whatever you need it to do and to get, get your get yourself to a new place to a new beginning. And there is a king of swords. Those go good together. A nice king of swords. He's the kingiest king. She's the queen of earth. She has everything in her domain. She's nice and creative too. So that goes with these eights. This eight of pentacles and that eight of pentacles right there. So, you know. Excuse me. When you're gentle with yourself. And you know what? I know that the kingiest king over there can be just, he can be really sharp true. But you know what? I think 
by the time you get to his position, you don't have to be so sharp. You just say it and it gets done. You just say it and people the understand, sun. you know? So maybe you've got a good match coming your way, especially under that hierophant. Well, I, I think this speaks more of self-love. You've, you've got to mm -hmm. burn through all this mm -hmm. stuff in your you mind, in your you. psyche, yeah. in your what, wherever it is that you're holding it at. Mm -hmm. before, in your body. Before you can go on and, and accept a new relationship. Let yourself mm -hmm. accept a new relationship. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is self-love. This mm -hmm. is taking care of yourself. And cancer. from there, all things can work themselves out. Yeah. The, I mean, you come out on the other end. You come out of all this fire and all this confusion and that just... slow burn. Yeah, slow burn. It is slow. And and you come out and it, you've accepted or whatever the term would be for... Mm -hmm for your past memories and everything, and you're ready now to set forth on a new path. Uh, there may be love out there waiting for you, mm -hmm. a real, true love relationship. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I can't think of anything better to lend, uh, end the read on than the sun. No, because the sun just means it's illuminated. Yeah. And it goes right, um, where'd the moon go? Maybe that was a different reading. Sorry, I'm like thinking of something else. Um, we have the star. Well, no, it was over here, so it, was, it must have been in a different reading. Um, but we have the high priestess here. There's your cancer card. Right. Now we have the sun. It's illuminated. So. The sun illuminates the things that are in the reading. It illuminates the fact that you did all this. Yeah, you let go of all the secrets, all the things that were... Uh, upsetting you, bothering you, disturbing you. The so you you can't do any better than this. And look at that uh, the uh, aces you have on the table. Yeah, you've got uh, you've got death, and then the ace of pentacles, the ace of swords, a death, and two aces. I know you, it. That's not a small that's amount. A, of, that's not a small shift in energy. No, it's not. It's death a is a big. new beginning. Mm -hmm. And then you've got the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Yeah. I'd say you're going to do pretty good. Very lovely. You know, Very good. You need to remember, though, that you have to love yourself before you can love anyone else. Be gentle with yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Don't be so wary of everything. Don't go around expecting like the deer do. They expect a bullet to be coming at them. They mm -hmm. expect something to take their life at any moment. So, uh, love yourself. Take care of yourself, and then you'll be free to move into a relationship. Mm -hmm. So, And you'll be a lot sharper, that King of Swords. Yes. It could signify somebody yes. else, but it could be just you being a you. lot sharper. Yeah. Next it's, time. Knowing the prey from the, the predator from the prey, you know? Knowing how people act. Exactly. You're a lot sharper because you took the time to do what a lot of people don't Self -analysis. do. Self-analysis. And that is analyze things and your memories and things and really piece things together. Not everybody can sit in. It's a very uncomfortable place to be. All right. Cancer, we hope this helps you. We hope you see it. Please share this if you know some cancer who's going through a, a bout of depression, a, a, something that's been holding them down, holding them back. And remember that these uh, readings are fluid. Whenever you see it is when you're meant to see it. Forget the date that's going to be on the thumbnail. That uh, is of no importance whatsoever. So, uh, until our next read, may your moons always be full. Bye-bye. Right. Bye. -bye. Bye.